What's up my fellow Guardians, your boy Sly here. If any of you saw my previous video about confirming helmet drop, then let me just double confirm it. For I was lucky enough to receive it myself. Look at this living light bulb, powered by human energy. Magnificent, isn't it? As of right now, this is my favorite helmet in the game. The Taken King has blew away my expectations. Although the raid weapons, they're a little meh. This armor though, delicious. It takes a special shader to be able to light the way with your face, but before we get into that, let's take a look at the helmet itself. A legendary drop at Oryx, it can bless you with light levels of anywhere from 300 to 310. It only has two perks set in stone with the rest dropped at random. Like all armor, it lets you choose a stat between intellect, discipline, or strength. The next column is a set of perks called Shine On. It increases super energy gain from killing minions of darkness. The middle list will drop you one of four. Innervation, Invigoration, Better Already, or Infusion. As with all raid helmets, the only thing that differs between classes is the style of them. For raiding, they will all help, but Better Already and Infusion are definitely the ones you should ask for in prayers to R and Jesus. Lastly, Take That rounds it off and states that upon orb pickup, it creates a chance for temporary bonus precision damage on enemies. Taken enemies, to be specific. I'm missing this last circle right now, so I don't know how long it lasts, or if they can stack at all. I'll let you know as soon as I know. Now let's get on to some more important things of this helmet. How sexy this beast makes you look. And damn, do I look delicious! I've added a few shaders in this video to show you what some look like besides the light bulb head ones. But in my opinion, if you get this bad boy light bulb head for the win. So now that faction shaders are way easier to get, the two new monarchy shaders are called Nefertiti AK, which is what I'm wearing right now, and the Cleopatra AK. Both give you the Dome of Light, plus new monarchy and warlocks go hand in hand. If you ask me, they're awesome, and they get me there in style. Okay, so one that everyone can use right now, right off the bat, is Chatter White. It gives the same effect, so use that if you currently don't have any faction colors. You know, or other shaders that illuminate your face, like the ones that I've got. You know, I've looked at Future War Cult, and while they are kicking ass this DLC with great weapons and cool armor, none of their shaders do me any justice. So, moving on. Now, Dead Orbit grinding has paid off, because just a few weeks before the DLC dropped, I was graciously gifted three out of the four Dead Orbit shaders. I just received the fourth one a few days ago, but the only two that make you look sexy are Bitter Steel and, surprisingly, Revenant. So, so much for the black shader, huh? Anyway, Gardens, that's it. The human light bulb is out of here. Hopefully your face can light the way soon enough, and with enough patience, a little luck, and a few days of grinding, your dome will light beautifully and leave the path for other Guardians after you. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll leave you with some cool-looking derp hands, and if you like my content, spank a thumb for me. Subscribe for up-to-date daily Destiny content, and as always, if you're watching this right now, you are one awesome Badass. Stay sly, guys. This is your fellow Guardian Sly, checking out.